I found her. She's just up here. Welcome back to Backwoods, boys. You can see we're in a bit of a snowstorm right now. Dad and I are up on our trap line. You've heard a lot of talk. Oh, since, oh man, the bear video and maybe even the uh, bear den video where we found bear dens and counted caribou. Talked a lot about my master's project. Well, it's finally underway. We are darting and collaring white-tailed deer to study chronic wasting disease spread and it's really cool because I get to study them on my trap line and around the farm. So these are deer that I'm familiar with already in an area that I know. So we're up on the trap line getting things ready. We've had a couple of baits out for the last month or so. There's some deer hitting and we're gonna go set up a blind today. This is the first big snowstorm of the winter. It's looking like we're gonna get a foot of snow probably in the next day or two. So we're gonna get a blind up right now before it really stands out in the white, let it get covered with snow and see what we can do to find deer starting tomorrow. Today's just the prep day. So we're gonna just load everything up. I need a chainsaw, I guess. And then we'll see you out there. We got a main trail right here, secondary, but almost as much traffic as right here. So they're coming in like this. They used to be coming in more there, but it's more in a pattern like this. So I'm kind of thinking that if we expose this fresh stuff here, probably set up over here somewhere, 20 yards or something. I was thinking, you know, this would probably be the best spot. We're right at the perfect distance, I think. And if we go, the window will come right on here if we trim a few of these probably leave this even and other than two branches i think we have a very all natural canopy come in here and see this right down through here we trim off some of this but even leave this one here just leave it the way it is and only two branches further out in your way To remember 
This is where you're shooting from, right? But we'll darken this up as much as I can and still get your shot. So you know I brought the carpet just to make it really quiet in here, eh? Because once we get some, any movement at all, that, that crunchy ground and leaves are going to be too noisy. So we're, we're really close to these deer and they're wild animals. They're going to spook, so carpet is just to make it quieter. Can you hand me the chairs? Perfect. I think it's done. We got the carpet in, it's nice and quiet. We got it all brushed in. Because even though it's camouflage, camouflage only helps so much if you just put it there. It doesn't blend in perfectly. It looks like this big dark shape. So this breaks it up nicely for anything from the bait. Everything's cleared so I have a nice clear shot. It's 20 yards, which is what I like to do for my new dart. And yeah, I think it's good. We're just gonna give it now a few days. A lot of people, rush things, they set up the blinds, sit there right away. And deer, like I said, they're really good at noticing things that are out of place. So it needs a few days, the deer coming and going to get used to it. And then we'll sit here after they're used to it. Thankfully, we've got a couple blinds up farther north. We'll sit there for a little bit while this one just starts blending in.
So found her, she went a lot further than expected, but she was a jumpy doe, she almost missed, like she almost ducked under the dart. But I see her up here finally. We're gonna have to shut the camera off and just do some work real quick. Okay, we got her done. She's breathing well, temperature's holding steady, all our samples and measurements are taken, collars on, magnets are off, everything's good. I've already given her the reversal. We got about three minutes before she wakes up. We're just gonna back off. There's wolves in the area, so we're gonna hang back. Just make sure she wakes up and gets going all right. Make sure nothing finds her while she's sleeping in the next couple minutes. So she's up and going. It's a little tougher going in the deep snow than some of the other ones have been so far, but she's doing fine now. She'll have probably about five minutes of being a little bit wobbly, and then she'll be good, so she should be just fine. We got a northern one. Success on Sandridge. So that doe, like I said, she was so spooky, she almost ducked under the dart, and she went so far with that adrenaline pumping. And you can tell how scared she was by her jumps. Look at this. This is one, she's headed this way. This is where she landed, having jumped from. Here, like that is easily 20 feet. From jump to jump. That is insane, man. And in deep snow, that is just, so crazy she was so on guard so alert that's why i love this new dart it's perfect for darting where it's just silent and you know the deer are extra on edge it's just yeah it is the best tool for the job for sure well we got back we got her done about 6 30 ish and made it back here and then decided to do a late night run up north to the other sites we had, Bush Buck and those other ones, and just see what's going on now that it's been a day since the blizzard ended. And there's nothing up there, which is actually good because it means that we can focus down on this bait close to the cabin, easy to get at, without worrying the whole time that we're missing deer farther north. But it is crazy how tough these deer are up here. This, this is actually, so this is week two that we've spent up here, and this is the first time we've seen a deer. We see tracks, they come in at night, they just abandon baits completely. It is it is so tough hunting up here that every deer we get is a huge success. I, I mean, I've shot a lot of deer and I've shot a lot of big deer and it just amazes me how excited I can get over a little yearling doe like this. Like, I don't think I've felt that excited in a long time other than maybe my big mule deer last year it's just there's something about how hard it is the challenge of trying to keep these deer calm at 20 yards and get that shot but we got her we officially have deep boreal deer and there's more deer around there's she was not the only one laying track so we're going to try it again tomorrow see what we can get and in the meantime we're just going to dry off our equipment and clothes here and Make sure we're not rusting our stuff so i will see you next time make sure to like comment and subscribe for more i have well, 23 more callers to get out so there should be a lot more footage coming we'll see you later